hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day all you beautiful people hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box for all the nice links also drop a like subscribe if you like the content really appreciate all of your support so really grateful for that um and i hope you're having a great great day wherever you are because it's really great day here we got about 20 degrees centigrade it's hot as hell feels great sorry about all the sounds but um but there you go that's my day and what i'm gonna do today is we're actually going to uh do something cool we're gonna we're gonna do some gui stuff and i actually had a a uh, a really cool suggestion from a viewer who said that i could use percentages for the values of my gui items or our gui items instead of just straight uh, positions like this because when we change our resolution and stuff we're gonna get some problems now I just want to go through kind of recap something important with you guys and that is that you have your graphics INI file right and you have a resolution right here um, that it loads in to the graphics settings now you can obviously write whatever you want here but there are a bunch of these that aren't supported so it's gonna when when it reaches when it gets a value that's not supported it's just gonna grab the current video mode of your computer. That's FML will, I mean. Uh, so there are a few supported ones. And if you remember, we have this saved here. And there are there is a, a state called setting state where we have a, a vector called modes. And this actually gets the supported modes from SFML and saves them. And that means that if we go into our settings menu in the game, we can see all the supported graphics modes. Now that drop down menu isn't the best, we're going to use another type of menu for that soon, I'll, I'll create that as we go on, but for now it's cool, we can see some of those, I'll show you those later, um, but, but those are supported, right, and that means we can change the resolution at any time almost. So we can change the resolu resolution of the game, but that won't change the fact that, for example, in the main menu state, we have hard-coded values for our buttons and hard-coded sizes which are just gonna mess things up, right? If you say 65 pixels, it's gonna be 65 pixels, no matter how large your window or drawing area is. What we want is we want a percentage value. So if you'd say 20%, now that button's position would be 20% away from the left side of the screen, no matter what the resolution is, okay? It will, it will adapt depending on the resolution because 20% of any resolution would be relative to that res resolution, if you understand what I mean, right? So percentages like in HTML and CSS, stuff like that in web development is, is really cool, and we're gonna use that. But to do that, we're gonna have to create a function called some kind of name, whatever, that converts a percentage value to a pixel value, depending on a resolution that you give it. Now, a great way to make a function like that would be uh, actually in state, all right, actually in state, I don't think it fits there because I mean, it's the, it's the state, right? But you have to convert a lot of values and you need to use the resolution. So the easiest way would be to do it in the state data because that's where uh, we keep our current resolution at. Uh, so that sucks a little bit. I would want to create that in GUI just for logic, logical reasons, but let's just see, let's open up state and let's see if it fits there. So we have our state data. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff, graphics settings and stuff like that. Now, if we were to insert a function in here, I'd probably make it. I'd probably make it static. Uh, right here, pause state, update mouse positions. All right, so we got a few things here that that are, you know, stuff. Um, seems all right. So I could I could just do could just do it at the top here void void p i just want to call it p2p all right p2p x and p2p y because that would be pixels to no percent to pixels and we want to be able to call this a lot so you know we, we need a short name if you have a long name for this it's gonna be really annoying because you're gonna use it a lot now, a good good way to do it would be to uh, make a comment wherever you define this and, and really say what it does. All right, so I'm going to show you a way 
of commenting that I usually use. I haven't used it in this project that much. Um, uh, let's see, const flow person, but it's a good way to learn. Usually it's used in PHP, but I just like the style of, of commenting. So, and it makes it look really clean, right? Um, and I really want to do it in almost every function going on, but it really adds to the length of the video. So usually I don't do it, but if you can, I would suggest you go ahead and do it. Um, so this is okay. P2P X P2P Y. That's good. We don't, we let's not, let's not make them static. Let's just keep them like that. So they can use the state data stuff, uh, obviously. So let's just see if they're defined in the correct position in state key, key times. I'm just going to put them below functions here. All right. Now it's not that complicated. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a percentage value and we're going to convert that into pixels. Basically, it's all we're going to do. And it's going to return something. It shouldn't be void. Am I dumb? Am I, am I seriously dumb? Um, const float. Sorry about that. It should be const float here. Okay. And no references on any of these. You don't have to do that. There you go. Const float. We're taking a float percent value and we are uh, converting that into pixels. So there you go. Now, say our screen size is... 1920 in width okay and we change that to maybe 1400 right now how do you calculate the percentage out of that well say i want 20 percent the user is sending in 20 percent and we're gonna just basically take that and divide let's see um this state data gfx settings the current resolution dot width so that is our width okay and we gotta kinda divide this or no multiply it with percent divided by 100 dot f okay so that will give me a percentage that will give me the 20 percent of this width and that's what I want and we're just gonna return this all right, and what are, what you want to do is you just want to static cast this to a float. All right, just this part because the other part is already a float. Okay, you want to do that. You can also floor this, which I recommend you do. STD floor the whole thing. Okay, so you don't get all these incredibly long float values. We could just mess you up. So just floor that if you want. Uh, or ceiling, it doesn't matter, but floor returns a float, so you're good. See? Float. So there you go. It took me a little while to just think there. I'm sorry about that. And just copy that into P2P Y, but we're just going to change it. We're going to take height here instead, okay? Just return the height as a percentage value. And there you go. That is the percentage of the current resolution, and that is exactly what we want. Now, to demonstrate this, um, the best way I would say is to go in here into main menu state and, uh, we have our init buttons function. Let's just say STD C out, uh, this P to P X. Okay. And we're just going to say, what is 20% of X? Okay. And let's just run this and let's see, hopefully it will print that out somewhere for me to see. And we're going to comment those functions as well. We're going to have to do that just to show you how you want to do it. Probably. Um, okay. 384 is 20%. All right. 384. So it's pretty close to this. If you want to check it, you just go into calculator and you just say, all right, um, I want to see what I want it to be 300 pixels away. Something like that. You just want to check that to your current resolution. You get, the percentage value. So you want to send in a hundred times this, right? 15.6, or you just want to send in 16. It doesn't matter. Then it will give you whatever this was. And then we'll keep that kind of relative distance, no matter uh, what resolution you're at. So we're going to use this in probably the next video and fix some of these things. At least the function is created now. Uh, let me just go in here. Let me just show you how I comment stuff. So 
I start off by making a multiple line comment like this. I do a little space here so these two asterisk thingies or whatever it's called are on the same line. All right, and I create a few of these. All right, now you need to, at the top, you're going to explain what the function does. So convert a percentage value to pixels by uh, relative to the current resolution or whatever way you find it easy to uh, to explain this. Converts a percent of value to pixels relative to the current resolution in the X axis. Okay, that's very important because that's what this function does. Okay, it doesn't have any, it does have an in parameter. Okay, so what you do then is you do a little add param. All right, so I, I kind of messed up. I don't know what happened to my OBS, but it kind of messed up. But anyway, I was right in the middle of talking about this. So I said, um, basically, this is what explains it, right? That's I think I said that. I just said it, but uh, I don't know. I forgot already. Uh, the param is the in parameters. So you kind of document all those. Param float, the name of it, and then what it does, what it's for. And then you have a little return as well if you have a return otherwise you just say add void here um, but if you have a return value what is it and what does it do and then you actually have the function right here and the same thing for y I kind of just copy pasted it and I changed this to y axis pretty much what I did and then it returns the height now I know uh, I messed up there in the middle but that's pretty much it that's all I did and I just copy pasted it so just use this might we might use this in other functions later on but it's pretty cool. It just it's just a nice way to keep everything documented. And then I think there is one for C++ that kind of auto generates documentation for your application if you do comments like these. But I'll check that out as well because this could be really important. I just use that for PHP and other kind of scripting languages. So, uh, but yeah, there you go, guys and girls. Hopefully you learned something. We'll be using this in the next video to fix everything. And and there you go. Um, Keep working hard. Take care. I really appreciate all the support from all you guys, all the nice comments. I hope I can I can get back to all of you soon and help you out. I haven't really been able to focus on any of that lately, but hopefully soon I will be uh, able to do so. But thank you so much. I really, really appreciate everything you guys do. And just keep working hard. And hopefully I'll see you in Discord and everything. And uh, hopefully in the next video as well. All right. Bye-bye.